Tony, I've got to see Tony, I've got to see Tony, I've got to see Tony. And here you are. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so my name's Tony Dixon and I'm bringing you the Swamp Thing Monster Truck. It may look like a pickup, but there's no pickup bits in it at all. It's a, just a fiberglass shell that resembles a, mon uh, a pickup. It's actually a bespoke racing vehicle. It's only good at two things. It's going fast and going over cars. It's not good at anything else apart from that. How long have you been, we'll go this way. How long have you been uh, driving monster trucks? Um, I've, been, I've been driving Swamp Thing for 21 years. I first drove a monster truck about two years before that. Uh, uh, this is my full-time job. I don't do anything else apart from drive monster trucks. So this is my company car, Mikey. That's incredible. I was just looking at the tyres here. I'm just thinking, they must be really small tyres because I'm quite small. So they're like normal average tyres. Uh, yeah? yeah, so a tyre on the monster truck is five foot six tall. Um, it's nearly four foot wide. Um, they cost three and a half thousand pounds a tyre um, and they weigh half a tonne each. That's incredible. Now, you might, a lot of people might be familiar with, uh, with Swamp Thing. Last year you celebrated an anniversary, but it's been on the TV a few times, hasn't it? Oh, it's, yeah, it's been on the TV a lot. So for the kids, um, you can probably, the easiest way to see it is on iPlayer for Katie's Amazing Machine. So we did that with Katie. Um, also on um, Amazon and on YouTube, you can see it in Gecko's Garage, which we actually filmed at a truck fest. Um, I've done, uh, for the older ones, uh, you can watch it on Netflix on Man Down. Um, and that's on the very last episode of series four of Man Down. 
So Swamp Thing was in that? That must have been crazy. I've seen that episode, and, and the, the episode is in the woods. Yeah. And it's Greg Davis. Now, he's not the shortest guy in the world. I mean, he's, he's huge. I mean, he's like double the size of you. Yeah. How did he get in there? Ah, uh, it, was, it was a challenge. So he, he was actually, the, the scenario was he, he'd been kidnapped, and his, um, his auntie and mum had gone to rescue him, and they nicked a monster truck from a show, and they drove it there, and they drove him in the, wind, in the woods, and they picked him up. But the problem is, Greg Davis is, I think he's six foot eight. Wow. And the monster truck's only got one seat, so he actually had a cushion system put in the passenger side where the passenger seat would normally be. And he was cramped up in there, and he's had to hang out the window, and we're driving across this field, and it's really bumpy. But he's trying to do this really cool looking face, but everybody got it, he goes, God, it's so bumpy. <laughs> Now we were talking to the guys, there's a, 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 le a driver learning thing around the corner there, the guys that lift. Yeah. Uh, we were talking to them this morning. I don't know if you've seen their, their load of vehicles, but there's a video online, it went up, I think it went up over the week. Uh, Terry Grant, you know Terry personally. Oh yeah, yeah. And Terry Grant was drifting their HTV round the car park. It was amazing. You've worked with Terry on quite a few stunts, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do a lot of stuff with Terry. Me and Terry used to have our own um, TV series on Discovery um, called Monster, Monster Trap Mayhem. Um, yeah, so we, the idea with that is, they, they were going to follow me what I do throughout the year and by the time they, they come on board on Discovery and that I only had three shows left so what we did in the end is we designed six new monster truck stunts um, from designing the stunt um, modifying the vehicles what, over the monster truck all the cars we were using um, and then practice it and then put it in front of a live audience and we did all that filming in three weeks so we did six episodes in three weeks and included making i had to make four cars and modify the monster truck now you do all the work on this yourself don't you no, i do all the work on the monster truck so if you want to find out more about my monster truck please check out my youtube channel which is swamp thing 4x4 on youtube we take you behind the scenes or what it takes to when we break the monster truck or last one is how you clean the monster truck after it gets filled i've not off. seen this one yet yeah. but i mean this, the, the screenshot of it is the monster truck on those ridiculous tiny tires yeah and there's like the the, uh, the, the pressure washer now i'm like this is going to be a big job it was very muddy on our last show it was very muddy yeah there was as much mud on the inside as it was on the outside mikey but i know we've got loads of boys and girls here today and they've always got the amazing questions because they come up with the most random stuff. And that's what I like is to have a question for all the boys and girls because this might be the first time they've ever seen a monster truck and I want to give them the best show possible. All right, shall we get them to ask them which, which way are you going to go, Tony? Uh, I'm going to go over to this go side. So if I go down this end here, so if anybody's got a question for Tony, put your hand up. You want to ask a question about a monster truck? Oh, I, I've got one already. He's there right by go. the IV code banner. I'm going over this way. I'm looking. Go on. It's so nice and warm today, isn't it? I love it when it's like this. Hi, buddy. What's your name? Harry. What's the question, Harry? How big is your monster truck? How big is the monster truck? So the monster truck, as it stands there, is 12 and a half feet tall. It's 12 and a half feet wide. It's 19 feet long. And it weighs five and a half tons. Also, in the back of that monster truck is a 2,000 horsepower V8 engine. That's why it makes so much noise. Is that all good for you? High five. Right, I've got another guy here. What's your name? Uh, Wyatt. Where have you come from? Uh, Nottingham. Nottingham. All right, what's your question for Tony? Uh, <laughs> have you ever been scared to do a jump? Uh, the first time I ever jumped the monster truck, yeah, that was quite daunting because um, you don't know what it's going to be like. And also, the, the one thing with the monster truck is when, you, when you're going to hit something, you normally brake. That's the last thing you do with a monster truck. You actually accelerate at it. And the first time I did it, I absolutely loved it. <laughs> okay, got a young lady here. What's your name, darling? Dottie. Dottie, what's the question, Dottie? What does the monster truck look like on the inside? What does it look like on the inside? It looks like a climbing frame on the inside. So um, the bodywork is just to give it a scheme, but it's actually just loads and loads of tubes. On the, uh, there isn't really a dashboard in it. Um, because in front of us we've got next sand panels so we can actually see out so in front of my feet I can actually see the wheels um, also in there there's only a couple of gauges we've got an oil pressure gauge a temperature gauge and a rev counter and that's it really and that's really that sits inside the monster truck right we've got a little man here what's your name Ollie where have you come from Ollie from Wales Wales or Wells Wales Wales wow that's a long way isn't it uh, what, what's your question for Tony um, how strong is 
How strong is it? That's a good question. Ah, the monster truck is fairly, fairly strong. We always have to go around it and check it after the show. Um, but some of the components... I've got a daddy long mix of my hair. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of the components... Uh, uh, so the, the, the rod ends that hold all the suspension on, they're rated at 72 tonnes. So they're really strong. Also, on the monster truck, he's also got aftermarket wheel spindles to make them strong. It's got custom belt sheet metal housings on it. So it is built really strong. <coughs> oh, right. Sorry, I got, a, I got a really bad cough today. <laughs> Don't die on this, Tony. No, no. I've got a young man here. What's your name, buddy? I'll say it again. Harley. Harry, what's the question, buddy? Um, how many cars can you crush? How many cars can I crush? Right, today we're going to use five. The most I've ever jumped without using a ramp is 12. Wow. Uh, but yeah, so these are end of life vehicles. This is the last thing they're going to do before they're recycled. Um, they normally end up as baked, believe it or not, as baked cans of baked beans or washing machines. And it's funny because one of them has got a washing machine in the back of it. Which Brilliant. was quite unusual to see. What's your name? Laura. What's your question? Does it make your tummy feel weird? Does it make your tummy feel weird? That's a really good question. Um, yeah, it's a bit like a roller coaster, but you're actually driving the roller coaster and it isn't on tracks. So yeah, when you do a jump, um, in, the, in the morning I don't really eat a lot. Uh, because otherwise all that food inside your tummy goes up and down. So yeah, it does make your tummy go funny, just like going over a humpback bridge in a car. Got a young man here, what's your name, buddy? Jack. What's the question, Jack? Um, what's its top speed? Well, everybody wants to know how fast the monster truck goes. So, well, the monster truck isn't really built for top speed. It is just built for accelerating really fast. <coughs> He's coughing again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mikey, you start me off again now. Yeah, so the top, uh, so it does 0 to 60 in four seconds, and that's not bad because it weighs five and a half tons. But the top speed on my monster truck is 85 miles an hour, and I, it hasn't got a speedo in it, but I do know it's 85 miles an hour because I took the sat nav out my normal car, put it in the window, and then just drove it across the field to see what it would do. There we go. We've got, uh, we've got young Isaac here. You're right, Isaac. Now, before we ask a question, Tony. Yes. Can you say happy birthday to Isaac? He's just turned seven. Happy birthday, Isaac! Thank you. You're welcome. Right, what's your question? My question is, how high can it jump? How high can it jump? How high can it jump? Right, so the highest I've ever jumped the monster truck is 42 feet in the air. Uh, and to put it in context, that would jump over most houses. I did that wow. inside the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, and that was level with the second tier inside the stadium. Uh, got a young man here. What's, oh, I'm coughing again. What's your, what's your name, buddy? What's the question, Jordan? Uh, how much does it cost for fuel? How much does it cost for fuel? Right, so each show we do between 50 and 70 litres of fuel. But that's not petrol, that's not diesel. We run on methanol and it's about £1.50 a litre. So, yeah, we, it goes through quite a bit in the weekend. We, we quite often do nearly 300 litres of fuel over a weekend. But yeah, it's environmentally friendly because it isn't a fossil fuel, it's actually a crop grown fuel. Um, the only thing is it's made from distilled sugar cane, which is we have to import into the country before they make it. But yeah, so out the exhaust all we get is water vapour and tear gas. Wow. Okay, what's your name? Rosalind. Where are you from? Barnsley. Barnsley? What's your question? How long does it take you to build the monster truck? How long does it take to build a monster truck? So Mon Swamp Thing was in the Reginald American monster truck, which I bought over from the from America and re rebuilt. Uh, but the quickest I've ever built for, for another somebody else is three three and a half months. And that's from a load of <coughs> a load of tubes and then driving it out the door. But that's with having all the engine and everything all ready to go. Got cool. one more question here for this young man. What's your name, buddy? Luca. What's the question, buddy? And you get you a back red. You want it to do a backflip? That'd be cool. Um, we're not really set up in the arena to do that today. Um, yeah, the monster truck is physically capable of doing it. It's also capable of doing the nose wheelies, where you can balance it on the front wheel. So over the winter last year, I actually shortened the chassis back so I could actually do that trick. Um, but yeah, it is capable of doing a backflip. It's got all the right safety stuff in it. I've just never done one. Right, I've got two questions over here. What's your name first? <laughs> Oliver, what's your question, Oliver? How long does it take to drive a monster truck? <coughs> How long does it take to drive a, to drive a monster truck? They're, I've taught a lot of celebrities to drive the monster truck, and some get it and some don't. The main problem with the monster truck is the steering. 
So on a normal car, you've got, just got steering wheel that does the front wheels. On the monster truck, you've got a joystick that does the back wheels as well. So you're steering the front and back separately all the time. That's how you can do that funny crab steering what I was doing earlier on in the show. The reason why you have to do crab steering and, and is so it, you can do really sharp turns with it. Also, sometimes when you do a jump, you have to let land the monster truck a little bit sideways so you have to adjust the monster truck in the air when you're doing it. So you have to tap the rear steering in the air to try and make the monster truck land straight. So yeah, but um, it takes... I can talk somebody to go over cars in a day, um, but to get really, really good at it is going to take about three weeks. It's quite a while. What's your name? Elise. And what's your question? Um, how much does it cost to make a monster truck? Um, yeah, they're not the cheapest thing to, to, to make. Um, you can't go down to your local Ford dealer and go and buy one. So the monster truck, as it stands there, is the quarter of a million pounds. Uh, just to go through some of the things, tyres are three and a half thousand pounds, so there's four of them. Shock absorbers are twenty thousand pounds. Axles are thirty five thousand pounds each. Um, gearbox is a ten thousand pound, and the engine is another fifty. So it, it, it ramps up really quick. Got another uh, birthday over here today. What's your name? Isaac. And how old are you going to be? Going to be five. That's Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. What's your question? Uh, is Monster Jam from Hot Wheels or Monster Jam? It's Hot Wheels from Hot. It's Monster Jam from Monster Jam. Uh, so I do a lot. Of, I have done the Monster Jam shows. Um, I, I still help both of those people out. So I'd, I'd help the, the people from Hot Wheels and Monster Jam. Um, if you look back at one of my videos, you actually see I've got one of the Hot Wheels trucks at my workshop fixing it. <coughs> got um, yeah, so what? <laughs> this, this is really annoying, why you? Right. I feel fear. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I had a mega rex in my workshop. They rolled it over in a show in London. And I had to get it fixed because they were doing a show in Manchester the weekend after, and it was absolutely destroyed. The roof was in 20 pieces on it. So I've got one more question for this young man here. What's your name, buddy? What's the question, buddy? How high can you jump without a ramp? Uh, uh, how high can I jump without a ramp? Uh, it all depends, because if, we, if we're using the cars as a, uh, for a ramp, we can get probably, I'd have thought, 20 feet in the air. That's quite, that's quite high jump. So yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing later on. I think it's half past 12, isn't it? Half past 12, we're going to do our first question today. I've got a couple of questions for you. I want you to be able to your cough moment. I hate when that happens. It's a nightmare, that. Uh, so, um, having a couple of questions um, through HTV1. So yesterday we were on air, and people were sending us messages, which was great. If anyone wants to download the app, just type in HTV1, hit the download button. And we had a message uh, from Steve, uh, who lives in Leeds, and he asked, uh, when you speak to Tony, I've got a really important question. What's his favourite size spanner? Uh, so we use a lot of spanners on the monster trucks. Uh, I, when I go after the show, I have to go around and check it. So I start off with a 50 mil spanner, then I go down to a 38 mil spanner. After that, it's a 28 mil spanner, 19, and then we start doing all the imperial stuff. So then it's five eggs. Um, 916 and a half inch. And we also had a message from Claire in Melksham, and she says, uh, what's Tony's favourite nut and bolt? Uh, a big one. <laughs> Brilliant <laughs> stuff. All right, so you're going to come back in the arena at half past 12. That's when you're going to be jumping these cars? Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to use this Ford Focus uh, as, as a lead car, and we're going to be jumping towards my trailer. Brilliant. I can't wait for that. So half past 12. Are you going to make a little bit more noise before then? I don't know. Do you want some more noise? Yeah! I can do that. Definitely do that. All right, so the big crush happens at half past 12. So make sure if you do wander around to be back here for half past 12. Tell mum and dad, 12.30, Monster Trucks, main arena. Tony's going to go and do a bit, little bit more noise around the arena right now. And then he's going to take his truck just behind Broker of a mech. So you want to go and ask him a question or maybe get a photo in front of a truck, then feel free to go around there. Right, he's going to get his start. This is loud, by the way. 